Creating an application that can acknowledge EDI files with a 997 is very easy to do with the use of the framework EDI component. First, we declare an EDI document object and an acknowledgement object. Then we instantiate the EDI document object and then load the 997 CEF file which will be used for constructing the 997 EDI file. We also have to load the CEF file needed to validate the EDI file that we've received and are going to acknowledge. In this case, the EDI file is an 835x091, so we have to load an 835x091 CEF file. Next, we instantiate the acknowledgement object. Here in this OAC object is where the EDI 997 will get automatically constructed. And we then enable its 997 functional acknowledgement property. If there are any properties that needs to be set, we do them before we load the EDI file. In our program, We've set the starting number for the interchange control number of the acknowledgement file to start at 1001, the group control number to start at 10, and the transaction set control number to start at 1. Then we load the EDI file. This would be the file that we've received from our trading partner and want to acknowledge by sending a 997. After loading the EDI file, we have this loop here that traverses through the entire file one segment at a time so that the Freddy component can validate each one of them and at the same time build the 997 acknowledgement EDI file. At the end of the loop, we can then save the acknowledgement object to a file with a save method or get it as a string variable with a get EDI string method. In this example, once we get the acknowledgement string, we display it on screen.